literally I just sat down, ready to film, and now the text is going through. The phone has just been, no one's wanted to speak to me all day. As soon as I turn the camera on, it's like, ding, 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 ding. Not that my phone makes that noise, that'd be gross. I've had such a stressful day so far. A very stressful What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming for you a tattoo experience video. Um, I have two tattoos now, as I said previously, I was gonna film this but I was waiting until I got my second one. Now I have both of them so I'm gonna film my experience. Apologies if you can hear the rain outside, it's kind of noisy. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, which you should, you'd already know it's raining here, so. My Snapchat is Dixie Plum Pixie. I'll write it below because it's kind of weird. I want to change it to Macabre Goddess, but apparently I can't change it, so good times. I'll have to stick with that shit's name. <laughs> so, um, right, on with the video. So, I'm going to speak to you about my first tattoo experience and then compare it to my second tattoo experience, and then I'm going to give you guys some tips for your first ever tattoo if that's why you're watching. If you're watching to call me a pussy, then by all means, <laughs> I hope this has provided at least a little bit of entertainment to your day. So my first ever tattoo is the hands holding the crystal ball, which I will show you now. So it's this one here. I can't see in the viewfinder. Yeah. Oh. So I went to Titanic in Southampton to get the tattoo done. I know they called it a piercing. <laughs> um, it used to be down in the Bargate area. It's now moved to Marlin Shopping Centre. Um, I went with Tit <laughs> Fuck, I can't talk. <laughs> I went with Titanic because I have seen a couple of my friends have had tattoos from Titanic from various artists and I really like it. I've been there for several piercings so I'm comfortable with the place. I know they do good quality work, I know it's clean, it's safe, everything like that, which is super important for when you get a tattoo. Have you seen the pictures on Twitter of like when people get um, tattoos and people don't use clean needles? And Oh, no, 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 mm, 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 mm. no, no. So yeah, Titanic, that's where I went, and my tattooist was Aisha, I'll link her Instagram down below. Her tattoos are sick, she's still technically an apprentice, but her work is so fucking good. One of the designs I have, I picked myself, and the other one was from her flash sheet. She's lit, she's fucking lit. So, my first experience, so... I have been wanting a tattoo for the longest time, so I'm 20 now, obviously you can start getting tattoos at 18 in the UK, and I really, really, really wanted to get them when I was 18, but I was terrified, I was so scared. In my head, I always thought it was going to be like, like a sewing machine needle, and that just terrified me to no end, so I was too scared to get one, and then I met my boyfriend now, Jake, and he has a, a sleeve of tattoos. And I went with him to one of his appointments, the last one he had on that sleeve. And I think it was a three hour appointment and I was just sat there like in awe thinking, holy shit, how is he sitting there for three hours getting that tattoo? Like, I was just so scared. But he was like, honestly, it's nothing to worry about. Like, obviously there's gonna be a little bit of pain, but it's not unbearable. And then I thought like, if it's unbearable, people wouldn't do it, would they? They just wouldn't sit through it. But Again, I was still too scared. And then for Christmas, Jake's mum got me a tattoo voucher for Titanic because she knew that's the studio I wanted to get my tattoo at. And it was a £25 gift voucher. So obviously it's not gonna pay for a whole tattoo, but it helped, um, it paid for my deposit for the tattoo. So that was really, really cool. So I got it in December and it ran out in June. And it was um, the end of May, beginning of June time. And I didn't have a lot of money, obviously because of the move and everything. So I was like, I'm gonna have to book it. I don't wanna use up the, like, I don't wanna waste the voucher. I'm gonna have to use it. So I went in and, oh my God, fucking plain. Okay, we're good. So I spoke to them on the Facebook page. I sent them a picture of what I wanted. I said like how big I wanted it, where I wanted it, whether I wanted color or not, stuff like that, who I wanted the tattooist to be. And then they sent me a quote for how much it was gonna be. And I said, cool, I'll come down and book it on my lunch break. So I did. And at first it didn't quite hit me, I was just like, oh, I've booked a tattoo, I've booked a tattoo, and I was really, really excited. And then as it got closer to the day, I got so worried, I was so scared. And the day of my tattoo, my brother came down from London, not 
for the tattoo. <laughs> just he was down and he took me out for breakfast and I could barely eat because I was so nervous. Like honestly, I was terrified. I'm so bad with needles. I'm so, like I've had injections before and fainted. Like I'm just so scared. It's not the actual injection. It's just the thought of it and the build up and it terrifies me. So yeah, so I was really scared and I could barely eat my breakfast because I was so worried. And then it got to the time and Jake walked me to the tattoo place and my friend Hannah at work so she just turned 18 and she got a big massive piece done on her thigh and I think her tattoo was three hours long and it was the first one she'd ever got and I was just like you're so brave oh my god and she was like honestly it's not that bad it doesn't hurt that much just do it if you want one just do it so I was like okay so I took her advice and she advised me to take a lollipop to bite on and have an energy drink. I was like, I probably won't need an energy drink because my sessions only, well, maximum of an hour. But I'll definitely try the lollipop thing. Hannah, you're a fucking genius. Yes, <laughs> lollipop is 100% the best, the best way to 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 cope with the tattoo. 100%. So. I walk to the studio and then they give you the um, the little form to fill out to just say whether you have any like conditions and you answer that all, stuff like that, hand it back in and they go right I'm ready for you. So I go through and Aisha sit up, um, so I sit in the chair, she puts the little, what's it called, the stencil on my arm, she's like is this the right size and I was like a little bit bigger so she reprinted it, got the stencil, put it on my arm, asked me to check it in the mirror, asked if I was happy with it, I asked Jake what did he think, his opinion. Um, I did want it as high up as I could on the arm, um, so this is as high as I could go without getting into this really painful bit, so she was like, she was really nice and honest with me saying like if you go too high it's going to really hurt because she knew how scared I was, so I was like okay that's fine, I'll just keep it where it is, um, and she said she'd start off really small and just do a small little line and see how I felt and stuff like that, so she was really really lovely about it, um, obviously she must have had loads and loads of clients who it's their first ever tattoo so she's, she knows how to, to deal with that so yeah so she went for it she did a little line and it did hurt obviously it's a tattoo it hurts but it wasn't anything like I thought it was going to be I was so terrified that I, it was, I was going to be in agony and I wasn't at all like obviously it hurts a little bit but it's not unbearable um, I could quite happily sit through many many more tattoos so it honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be and it was also really lovely because I had Aisha this side of me and then I was here and then I had Jake and then Aisha's boyfriend came so we were all just having a little chat about things and that's like another huge tip is that talking to people while you're getting your tattoo so you have a distraction so you're not just focusing on what is happening on your arm and also I try not to look because then I'd probably freak out but <laughs> so yeah that was my first tattoo experience it was done within 25 minutes it was super super quick um it's all mostly black ink with some little tiny white highlights just to add a bit of pop to the tattoo so yeah done in 25 minutes i looked in the mirror she asked if i was happy with it whether there needed to be any like alterations not that you can really like <laughs> rub little bits out but you know what i mean um i said no it's perfect i love it so she wrapped it up and i was good to go so i went back out the front um, to the till area, paid the remaining bit of my money and they gave me a sheet on aftercare um, so for aftercare for this tattoo, so I had it wrapped up and then ideally within, I think it's two hours you're supposed to wash it but I went to my dad's house after I got the tattoo, I went straight to my dad's and then I stayed there for dinner and then I got home at like 10 so I had my tattoo at 3 so I had the wrap on for about seven hours, which you know, it doesn't it doesn't make a huge difference. So I got home, I rinsed it with warm, not hot water, and a little bit of antibacterial soap because it's you know an open wound. So I cleaned it with soap, and then I patted it dry. I do not rub it because you're going to agitate it or remove some of the ink that's on the surface, stuff like that. So you just want to pat it, and then I so I patted it dry, and then I put the panthen on it. I know there is loads of controversy over what you should put on your tattoo as aftercare some people say only use the tattoo the, the things spe the things specifically made for tattoo aftercare but at my studio they recommended bipanthin they sell it behind the counter for tattoos and jake who i said my boyfriend who has the full sleeve he used bipanthin before so i was like i'm just gonna use it and i've had no issues whatsoever it's fine, it doesn't ruin the tattoo in any way. So I used the panthen and then after that, every morning and every evening, I would rinse off the tattoo, pat it dry, and then put the panthen on it. 
um, just to stop it scabbing over. A lot of people say that with your tattoo it can get really really itchy afterwards, I never found that, I don't know if it's because it was quite small or sometimes if you have it in an area where they've had to shave the hair sometimes it can itch because you've had to shave the hair but I didn't have to because it was on the front of my arm so it never itched for me so that was quite good because obviously if you scratch it you can damage the tattoo so luckily I never had the itching problem but yeah so it's healed really well I think over seven or eight days it was pretty wasn't scabby wasn't dry anything like that and now it's just all good and it was the best feeling to keep walking past the mirror or something and look down and just be like I finally did it I've got a tattoo <laughs> um so shortly after that literally as soon as it finished I was like I can't believe it's only 25 minutes I want another one I want them to carry on, I want them to do something else. So shortly after that, I decided I was gonna get another tattoo. I have so many ideas, like literally 100 ideas, but again, like I said, I haven't got loads of money because of the move, so I don't wanna book a huge piece that I obviously can't afford right now. So I was considering what smaller piece to get because I definitely want another tattoo, but I don't want, like I can't afford a huge piece, so I was thinking about it. And then where Titanic moved from the old place to the new place, they had on their first Saturday they were open, they had 20% um, off all flash that was on the wall and you could get like a discounted full day session. Obviously I couldn't afford a full day session. So I went to have a look at the flash tattoos and Aisha's flash designs were drag race themed. How cool is that? So I was super excited and I was just stood there staring at the wall for my lunch break trying to decide which one I wanted and I saw the Not Today Satan design and I was like I really like it, I don't know whether I should get it, I don't know if I could really afford it, I'm not really sure so I didn't do it, I didn't book it and then I went upstairs back to my job and then I got 10 minutes into my job and I was like Jake I want the tattoo, I want it, can you go and book it? So I sent him down with my card to go and book my tattoo so um I don't know, do people talk about the price of their tattoos? Is that like a faux pas? I don't really know. I'll just tell you because whatever. So my first tattoo, um, the hands and the crystal ball, the deposit was 25 and the tattoo was 40. So because I had the 25 pound voucher, I only had to pay 15 pounds. So that was <laughs> really, really good. And then the second one, because it was 20% off, the deposit was 10 pounds and the tattoo in total was 30. So I only had to pay another 20. So I could definitely afford to do it and I just booked it, just went for it. So the next one, I just wasn't as, I just wasn't terrified this time. I was really looking forward to it, I was really excited. Um, I don't remember the date I booked it, but the day I had it done was the 4th of July, which now is, it's a week ago today since I had this one done. Um, yeah, and just the whole wait for my next tattoo, I was just so excited. I just couldn't wait for it to come, wanted it to be closer. And then I suddenly realised that because I booked it on a Tuesday, not a Saturday, Jake wasn't going to be there with me. And then I was like, what am I going to do? I can't go on my own. I can't have a tattoo on my own. So then I was really, really scared. And then I asked my sister to come with me, but she was dog sitting, so she couldn't. I asked my friend Katie, but they were ill, so they couldn't come. I was like, what am I going to do? And then I asked my friend Paige, and she was like, yeah, I'd love to. So I was like, yes, Paige is the saviour. So the plan was to go get the tattoo, get lunch, and then go shopping, which we did, and it was a really, really lovely day. Um, yeah, so I sat down, I knew what to expect this time, so I wasn't nervous. I did still have my lollipop though. I had a drumstick lolly. It was good. So again, she put the template on, was like, is that what you want? I was like, that is perfect, go for it. So she went for it, and I was so into the conversation, I didn't even realise, and then Aisha was like, you done? I was like, what? It was just over so quick and I was like, oh my god. So this is the design I got for my second one, Not Today Satan, which is obviously from Drag Race. And it's super, super cool. I'm so happy with it. I love it. <laughs> I love my tattoos. So um, I'm currently in the process of deciding which tattoo to book next. Um, do you know what? I'll give you guys a little preview so for my next tattoo i'm considering getting done as you guys know i'm a huge pierce the veil fan why am i not center there we go i'm a huge pierce the veil fan and i got one of their pre-order kits from their last album misadventures and it came with this book that has vic's like handwriting vic is like the the front man the lead guy the lead dude um, it has all this handwriting from when he wrote the lyrics and little doodles and pictures and stuff and there is this really adorable little picture in here that he's drawn and I love it I'm obsessed with it obviously it's like a really rough doodle so 
it would have to be neatened up and stuff but I'm thinking that's going to be my next tattoo and because I'm quite unevenly weighted right now with my tattoos I'm going to get it on this arm and I'm going to get it in the same place as I have the hands with the crystal ball I'm really obsessed with hands and tattoos, I just love them. There's another flash design that Ayusha's done. There's like a creepy spooky hand with like a frilly sleeve and I was like, oh, I could get it and like wrap it around there and I'm like, stop with the hands. I can't just have a whole sleeve of hands. But yeah, so I'm thinking that's gonna be my next tattoo design. I'm pretty fucking excited. I haven't booked it yet, but yeah, I've got to message them and see what the cost is gonna be, see if I can afford it this month and then hopefully book it. So I'm gonna go through my advice for you guys um, for tattoos. So the first advice is view the artist's work. If you found like a, a studio or you found a couple of people on Instagram or whatever, however you found them and you like, you think you want them to tattoo you, look through their work, go right back to the start of their Instagram, scroll through it, look at the work they've done, stuff like that. Just properly research it because you want to be 100% certain that this is the right person to do your tattoo because at the end of the day it's your body, it's going to be there forever, so you need to 100% be certain that that is who you want to tattoo you. Um, you should also pick someone that you're comfortable tattooing you. Um, if depends on the tattoo I mean you could only be in there for like 25 minutes like I said or you could have like a whole day session planned with this person but you want someone that you're going to be able to get on with to talk to to feel comfortable with them you know stabbing your body so pick someone that you're comfortable with like I said I went with Aisha I know like two or three people who've been tattooed by her she's a friend of one of my friends so I've met her I met her before I was tattooed by her because I was there when Katie was getting tattooed so I'm really really comfortable with her love her she's so nice so I was like 100% yes happy with that um, the next piece of advice I have is bring a friend with you. Like I said, if you talk to distract yourself and it's going to be a lot easier if you have another friend there. So you've got a tattooist and a friend and you can all just have a big old conversation to take your mind off of it. Um, I would say if you're nervous like I was for your first tattoo, then pick an easy spot and that's somewhere that's quite fleshy that you're not going to feel a lot of pain. Um, so like your arm's a good place, like in this kind of area. Um, up here is probably generally quite good and um, your thighs can be quite easy as long as you don't go too far up um, just places that are quite fleshy that isn't going to hurt too much um, I think some of the worst places are to go for your ribs if you haven't got a lot of like skin there and you can feel the bones quite easily that's going to hurt quite a bit apparently your feet are really really painful and your neck and your throat can be quite sore as well so just really think about the placement of your tattoo especially if you're in a career where it's not appropriate to have tattoos on show so like for example my boyfriend has had a lot of office jobs in the past and is in one now so um, his sleeve stops just before the wrist so that if you have like a shirt on you can't see any of the sleeve um, which is like an option if you still want like a whole arm of tattoos but you can't have it on display <laughs> then stop just before the cuff line um, yeah so pick an easy spot that is my advice to you and start small again if you're scared like I was um, if you're super brave like Hannah jump right in and get a huge thigh piece I wish I had the balls to do that I'm considering getting a big thigh piece but like I said I need the money so so yeah just start small like I did so you can get used to it and then then you'll catch the bug and then you will just want a million tattoos all the time every day everywhere um, I really hope this video was helpful. I feel like I've just rambled and I've probably said a lot of things that you've heard from other people. It's just quite general tips and stuff on getting a tattoo. Like I said, pick somewhere clean, pick somewhere safe, be 100% sure that's the artist you want, pick something that you're going to be happy having on your body for the rest of your life, stuff like that. Um, the only other thing I would say is don't feel like you can't get a tattoo because it doesn't have a special meaning or anything like that to you. Like a lot of people are like, oh why did you get that tattoo? What's the story behind your tattoo? And it's like, I liked it. <laughs> um, like my mum's friend was like, what does this mean? I'm like, it's cute. <laughs> um, just get a tattoo because you like it, not because, you know, once upon a time, 10 years ago, you saw a snail and it was a really nice snail and that's resonated with you ever since. By all means, get that snail tattooed. But if you just see a cute little snail and you're like, damn, I want that on my body, then go for it. That was the worst example I think I've ever given in my life, but hopefully it got the point across. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I nearly called it a tattoo. 
for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Comment down below, let me know if you have any tattoos, if you have any plans for tattoos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.